Do 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 Hi. Hi guys. How are ya? It's me. Um, I'm back. I chopped all my hair off. I started to film a vlog the day that I got it cut, but then it was like a crazy work day and I just gave up filming. Um because I had too many meetings and stuff, but I did indeed cut all my hair off. After the wedding, I just was like, it was just so long. It literally went all the way down to almost like the top of my butt and the ends, I swear to you, the bottom, I don't know, eight inches were dead. And I just was refusing to cut it because I wanted it long for the wedding. So then once the wedding happened, I was like, I simply can't be bothered. Um, we also got a new couch, how exciting. It's a sectional. I look like a dad at Six Flags. Hey. It's a sectional. It's from Joybird. I got served an Instagram ad and I'm a sucker for an Instagram ad. So we got a new couch finally, which I'm really excited about. It took about six weeks to get here and I'm so obsessed with her. So she passes the, she passes the test. Um, and it's sort of like a buclé fabric, which I feel like is very on trend, which I like. But that's not why we're here today. We're here today to talk about jewelry because if you guys know me, you know I love jewelry and I've been on a bigger kick than I ever thought I would be in the past like three months. I've just been getting new stuff pretty much every week, which is like, apologies to my bank account, but I'm happy. So, also do you like my outfit? <laughs> this top is from Aritzia. I feel like this is cute, but then on bottom we have workout shorts and socks because <laughs> um, I'm going to the gym after this. So without further ado, let's talk about the new pieces that I'm loving right now, um, where I got them, all that good stuff. You guys know, quick disclaimer, uh, my jewelry collection is primarily solid gold, not always 14 karat gold. It's often 10 karat or sometimes even nine karat, but usually 10 karat, some 14 pieces because I just wear my jewelry every single day and I never take it off. The exception is that I take my rings off when I'm weightlifting because I don't want to bend them and like mangle them. So other than that, everything is pretty much solid gold at this point and I kind of only buy solid gold pieces because I look at it like an investment and something that I want to wear forever, hand down to my kids, feels worth investing in. So that's the disclaimer, let's talk about the new pieces. The Let's start with earrings because I was never an earring girl, but I am now. So I wanted this pair of huggy hoops for a really long time. I like the look of like a slightly chunky huggy hoop that hits pretty close to the earlobe, but it's not super tight. And something that's comfortable enough to sleep in that I can wear every single day. Just because I'm in a lot of Zoom calls and I feel like my hair is often up or half up, half down. And I just feel like it makes me look a little bit more put together even when I'm just wearing like a basic t-shirt or a basic tank top to have a simple earring in. And earrings are the one piece of jewelry that I always forget to wear. So if I don't have something in, I will not wear it. And these I wanted because I could just wear them every single day, never take them out. And they are 14 karat gold. I got them on Amazon actually, which is kind of weird, but you can buy really good stuff on Amazon. They were pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $200 for a pair, which for solid gold and a solid gold hoop is pretty good because hoops can get really expensive. And I think the reason that they are a little bit more affordable is because they are hollow. They're not completely solid the whole way through, which means that they're a little bit lighter. They don't tug on your um, ear as much, which I like a lot. And then they also are going to be less expensive because you're not paying for a solid piece of jewelry. You're paying for like a semi kind of hollow piece. And they have the type of back where it just sort of pinches in. So they don't really like rub against the back of your ear in that uncomfortable way. So they're really comfy to like sleep in and wear every single day. Next up, I got two new rings. I'm a ring girl through and through. I love rings. I'm trying to force myself to branch out from rings a little bit, but I just can't help it. I love them. So the first one I got, you guys already know, I love my Missouri boyfriend stacker and I wear it on my pinky with my cat bird stacked rings. That has been like tried and true staple in my collection for like six months now. I added recently 
the curb link. This is the small curb link chain from a jury. It's 14 karat gold. Like this ring is just so comfy. You don't even feel it on your finger because the, the links are small and they really kind of move with your hands. I tried on the thicker curb and I liked it a lot. I just felt like it was a little bit too chunky for me, especially because I like to layer and stack. So I wanted to be able to stack a couple of other things. And I've been wearing this one on my pointer. You can kind of see like, this is the typical stack. I've showed you guys my Lisa Goslin ring. I have a couple other thin stackers from like local eclectic. I have my wedding bands, my pinky stack. And then I've kind of added this to my pointer to round out my left hand. And I've been loving it and it's been holding up great. And then this other one that I got is on my other hand. And this one is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. So it's actually estate jewelry. Um, and that is something that I've been getting more and more into is vintage and estate jewelry. I follow some amazing like vintage jewelry people on Instagram and they basically just buy and curate vintage jewelry and then sell it through their Instagram and they all have amazing taste. I will link them in the comments or in the description box below so you guys can go follow them if you want. And that's where I'm always kind of like keeping up with vintage jewelry. But yeah, this little ring I found on Cape Cod. I was there with my family and I went into a local jeweler in Harwichport, which is where Ben and I got married and was just poking around and found in like the back corner, this little case of estate jewelry pieces. And the cool thing about estate too, is that it's typically less expensive, not always, but typically because it's pre-owned and pre-loved. So it's typically a little bit less expensive. This is 14 karat and I got it for like a hundred bucks. And if you go to a jeweler, they're sometimes willing to negotiate. So I basically was like, hey, would you take a hundred for this? And he was like, yeah, totally. Like that seems fair. And so I got it for like a hundred bucks. And I think it's so cute. And it's kind of like a cute meaning because Ben and I got married in Harwich Port. I bought the ring there and it has two little hearts on it. One for me and one for him. Moving on to necklaces, this necklace right here on my neck is also a new addition. And this one's vintage too. So I got this at a different jewelry store in Cape Cod up in Provincetown. Um, if you're familiar with the Cape, P-Town has some amazing vintage shops. And I got this necklace and you can kind of see, this is the evil eye necklace that I wear all the time that I got in Greece on our honeymoon. This one is braided. So it's sort of like a serpentine chain, but there's three braided pieces that braid together and it's pretty short. I would say this is about, I think this one's like 16 inches and this one's maybe like 15 inches. So it's pretty kind of short in terms of where it hits, but I like that because it never gets tangled. It never really like gets stuck in anything. I wanna say the whole necklace is like 150. Um, which if you guys know, chains are like low key, really expensive. Buying a chain, um, especially a solid gold chain because they're heavy and it's a lot of gold are really expensive. I've been on the hunt and I recently ordered, I'll let you know when it comes in. I've been on the hunt for a Figaro chain for a baby lock that I have, um, that I want to like make a whole set out of. And I was doing some deep searching on Etsy and finally found one that was on sale. And other than that, I've never seen a chain for less than like $500. That's solid gold. So to find this one for 150 felt like a steal. Um, yeah, so that's my new necklace. I'm obsessed with her. Finally, I think this is the last new piece. You guys have already seen my, my bracelet stack. I have a couple chains that I wear pretty much every single day on my wrist. And I've kind of talked to you about them. This one's like a serpentine one. They sell something similar at Missouri. This one is a paper clip chain. You can find these kind of all over Etsy and everything. But this new one is from Gorjana. And so this is solid gold and it has little pearls, like satellite pearls dotted all around the wrist, which I love. I think it's super kind of girly, dainty, feminine. Um, and I think it stacks so nicely with the other two bracelets that I wear on my wrist all the time. So yeah, I feel like that kind of covers everything. I don't think I've got anything, but I hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you have any other like, yeah, jewelry, lifestyle specific videos you want to see from me, let me know in the comments because I will definitely film them for you. And yeah, that's it. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.